<laughs> so I like one of the things I like is my marriage, and today is my 37th uh, anniversary. And my wife and I, <laughs> thank you, thank you. My wife and I have been together for 41 years. We have lived together, uh, and it has been exceptional. And I want to read a very brief passage. I won't go on and on, but I want to read a very brief passage about our marriage from my memoir, The Great Good Thing, A Secular Jew Comes to Faith in Christ, which if you haven't read it, you should. Uh, and I will just read a brief passage about uh, the story of how I met my wife is very funny and it's in the book and I'm not going to read that now. Uh, I picked her up hitchhiking basically uh, when I didn't have a car with me, but I won't talk about that. But I just want to read this, this passage that I wrote uh, in the book about, uh, about my marriage. Uh, my marriage to Ellen has not been an ordinary one, not by a long shot. It has been a lifelong romance. I love her, by which I mean her good is my good and her misfortune mine, and I love her passionately, by which I mean I hunger for her company as well as her touch. This has not changed even a little in our nearly 40 years together. In nearly 40 years, we have had exactly one quarrel. It was a meaningless flare of temper more than 30 years ago. For the rest, we have been poor and rich together, crazy and sane, happy and miserable, but never wholly out of harmony. I find I can no longer even dream a woman who is not in some sense she. But more than that, our marriage has taken on a life of its own. It has become a third creation, greater than anything we are individually or together. I like to think we're perfectly decent people, Ellen and I, but I have all the usual flaws of men and she of women. We're clearly neither one of us as special as this vessel that contains us. Our marriage shines around us and between us with an otherly light, a sacred habitation for our shambolic humanity. It is soul stuff made visible. Living within such a spiritual sanctuary has an effect on you over the years. Just knowing such a marriage can exist refashions the way you look at life. Our marriage gave undeniable substance to the inner experience of true love, and true love, in turn, shone a light on the redemptive possibilities, even of tragedy. Even the kingdom of evil came to seem to me like only the empty space where true love might have been. And when, over time, I had reasoned my way to God, it was our marriage, in part, that made me trust my reasoning. I trusted myself because I had recognized love when I saw it. And it was the fact of our long love that had slowly revealed to me a greater love than ours, the love that was our love's source and inspiration. It was as if our marriage had guided me through my days from a realm beyond the ordinary, the way a lodestar shines from deepest space, yet nonetheless leads you home. So happy anniversary, uh, 37 years, boy. Seems like, for, to me, it went right by to her. Probably each day was like <laughs> terrible, terrible struggle.